Whatever the technique you use in the air, whether hitch kick or hang or stride jump, of which there are many variations, it's important to note that they don't really increase your jump distance directly. That is to say, the movements don't propel you forwards through the air. When you take off, your body, or rather its centre of mass, follow a preset path. So what's the purpose of a flight technique? Really, it's to maximise your takeoff and allow you to get your optimum landing with your heels as far in front of your body as possible. In this short video, we'll look at mainly the basics of the hitch kick and hang flight techniques. Here, Jonathan is doing a hitch kick with a reverse double arm action. You'll see that the arms push through after takeoff and then reverse back round and over. During this time, the non-takeoff leg, as with all hitch kick variations, is swept back and round. Both legs then complete a cycle and then meet for the landing, the half part. To give more range to the hitch kick, his right leg needs to be driven up and held higher here to create a greater separation than he achieves. Regardless of technique used, as I've said in previous videos, the takeoff position is crucial. The knee needs to be held before movement ensues. Why? Because the takeoff sets up the rest of the jump and maximises landing and distance. Here, Elliot uses a slightly different arm action variation compared to Jonathan where he separates his arms slightly after takeoff. This technique can be called a hitch hang. You'll see that I've isolated the landing position with the hands behind the hips. This helps to extend the landing. Here's Paul using a very similar technique to Elliot and Jonathan. It's more akin to what Elliot's doing with the hands separating and then reaching overhead into a hang position with the legs extending after the cycle into a landing. Here's another video of Paul in action. This time he's unable to control his movements in the air as well and this results in forward rotation out of the pit. The rotation generally starts off of the board and despite what he's doing in the air he can't combat this. This results in a loss of jump distance. His heels are held ready for the landing but there's not much he can do to stop them dropping. Here Elliot assumes a better position prior to landing which enables him to extend his heels. Now we're back to Jonathan employing another arm action, the one that we really want him to use. This is an independent action where the left and right arm separate and rotate in different directions. It's basically the same as used by Elliot. Looking at it again and looking at the arms in particular, you'll see that the right arm, extended after takeoff, goes backwards, whilst the left arm, now over his head, comes forward to meet, to join, to go past the hips and extend into landing. As with Elliot, this technique could be called hitch hang. Now we're looking at the hang technique. This creates a long, thin silhouette in the air after takeoff. Again, a very similar position to the hitch kick. The leg is swept back, but this time both legs meet and then are pulled through into the landing position. As I've said, for both hang and hitch kick, the takeoff position is crucial. Thereafter, the first movements are very similar, with the free, non takeoff leg being swept down below the body to create the long, thin shape. It must be stressed that the hitch kick and the hang are as effective when performed properly as each other. Whatever technique you learn, hitch kick or hang, it's important that you learn them properly and don't rush through the movement. Doing this will not allow you to combat the rotation that can ensue off of the board and will prevent you from getting your optimum jump distance. 